uh, yeah, Loretta's, Loretta's went well. Um, honestly, I was not really thinking about the whole, I was honestly just excited to go to the pros because I honestly don't like how the amateur stuff is. Like, I don't like how we sit around all day and then like, you sit around all day and then you have 20 minutes that you just have to go out there and kill it for. So for me to come here and everything's, like I'm not here for a week, like I'm here for one day I ride, you know, throughout the whole day. I don't, I'm not sitting around. So I think the pros is a lot better for me, and I think it suits me better. So I was at Loretta's. I honestly, I was just excited to start start this chapter. And honestly, it, it honestly helped me at Loretta's because usually there's so much pressure on Loretta's, but I knew at Loretta's that it wasn't the biggest race of the year. I mean, I had the three biggest races of my year were after Loretta's. So. At Loretta's, it was, I mean, I was pretty, pretty chill and laid back just because I knew that there was a lot more ahead. So then, I think helping you out a lot is the fact that, like, there was no big changes to your program, and you have the top 250 program as it is right now, training-wise, with Swanepoel and the guys at, at South of the Border. How has that been this summer coming into this? Like, you knew what to expect because you're chasing the top guy. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, I train with Swanepoel, so I, I mean, I train with uh, Cooper Webb and Aaron Plester and all those guys on a daily basis. So I knew, I mean, Coop's out here winning races, so I knew, ex I, it's nice to know exactly what the speed is. I mean, I go out and practice and I, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm, you know, this compared to Coop and Coop's out there winning. So it's, it's huge for me just to be able to ride with those guys and honestly, I mean, Coop, Aaron, and, and Tickle, and everybody that have raced pros have helped me so much just transitioning and, you know, just even with everything. I mean, just gym stuff, like, they help me so much. So to have those guys around and, like, they've all done it. I mean, Coop's won championships, Tickle's won championships. So to have those guys around and, you know, have be getting advice from them is, is unreal. I think a big a big thing that helps you too, like you said, your three biggest races of the year were after Loretta's, but also around the same time you knew what you were doing for next year already. It wasn't like you were going and, and your whole career hinged on how these motos went and if a team was going to sign you. So for next year under the same tent, the same bike, everything, right? Yeah, exactly. So it was, th these are the biggest races of my life basically, but the, that was the thing. I mean, I already have a deal for next year, so it wasn't like do or die. Like I was able to come out here and and the goal for me, I mean, obviously I have my own personal goals, but the biggest goal was to just get experience racing this so I kind of know what it's like next year. I'm not just completely surprised next year. So basically me coming here was just all learning experience. I mean, I, like I said, I have a deal for next year, so it's not, it's not like a huge deal on how I do here. Obviously I want to do good for myself and, you know, Swanepoel and my brother and all the people that help me, my mom and dad, and, and just, I want to come out here and do good. So to be able to come out here and you know, I have the speed. I mean, I've I've been running with the top guys for the last both weekends. I mean, I ran up there. So I just need to work on a couple things and get used to these long motors. And I think uh, I'll be I think I'll be good next year. Um, how is the big difference in the bike between your amateur bike and this, or is it still pretty close? Uh, really, there's I mean, it's same suspension. And then the motor's pretty much the same too. So I was, like I'd never ridden Cycle Trader's bike until last weekend, but it's pretty much the same as what I was, what my race bikes were. So I was pretty comfortable on it. I mean, right from the start. Uh, last thing, this is personal opinion, but a lot of rookie kids get signed to the top team. I mean, that's what you want to do. You want to be under the top 10, but at the same time, that's a lot of pressure that comes while you're trying to figure out oh, this is how this stuff goes. Do you feel like you could follow a Colts path where you come in kind of under the radar, you're not in the spotlight as much, and you can just get to do it on your own without somebody beating it down your head, like, I have to do this good or else. Because I'm at the top tier, and there's nowhere else to go but down. Yeah, that's basically kind of what we're thinking too. I mean, whenever we had this deal come up, like, I had, there was a chance I could have rode for Star, but... Uh, Bobby Reagan wanted me to wait until after Loretta's to do something and it's just like I just wanted to have no pressure at these races and just be able to go do my own thing 
and even like my mom and I talked a lot about it and we both said that just to come here next year, Christina, everybody's here is awesome, so they're not, it's not super high pressure, so for me to come in next year and just do my own thing and not have a lot of pressure is, I think it's huge for me because uh, it's obviously next year will really be my rookie year, it'll be my first year, so to be able to go into my rookie year and not have the pressure from these big teams and stuff like that, I think I'll be really